The Leonardo has a simple settings menu that is controlled with its button. The button has two states. A simple push for less than two seconds. Let's call this press. And push and hold for two or more seconds. Let's call this hold. To access the main menu of the Leonardo, you must be at the surface. You can navigate the main menu simply by pressing the button. The main menu has several screens. Every time you press the button, you move to the next screen in the list. To enter a screen and adjust its various settings, you hold the button. Once you are inside a screen, you press the button to move to the various settings and hold the button to begin editing the setting which is flashing. When you are done with a setting or screen, simply wait and the Leonardo will save the setting, beep and return to the previous screen. To enter the dive settings, press the button until you see Dive S on the bottom row. Then hold the button to enter the screen and begin editing its contents. The first setting is the PO2. This setting is mainly used when diving nitrox and allows you to set the maximum partial pressure for the oxygen during the dive. When diving nitrox, to minimize the risk of incurring CNS toxicity, it is common practice to limit the maximum PO2 to 1.4 ATA. To begin editing the PO2 alarm set point, hold the button. Note that once you enter a setting to edit it, if no button is pressed within 4 seconds, the Leonardo will beep and return to the previous screen. You can set this alarm from 1.2 to 1.6 ATA. To change the PO2 value, press the button until you see the desired value on the screen. Let's set it to 1.4 ATA. You will notice as you change the PO2 value, the corresponding maximum operating depth will be shown below. Then either hold the button or wait a few seconds to save and return to the dive setting screen. In this video we have given you an overview of the Cressy Leonardo settings. To learn more about the Leonardo, take the Leonardo online specialty class at divecomputertraining.com. To practice with the Leonardo, use the eDiving Scuba Diving Simulator.